everything is gone what should i do if your electronic arts folder disappeared from your documents folder there are a couple of things that you can do or even if we are talking about some other files from your game we can do something about it here i have my electronic arts folder into my documents folder right everything is in its place we have the mods obviously i don't have any saves because i haven't really played the game in a while i just i really needed to like take a break and i truly hope you are doing well i am sending all of my good thoughts screenshots i have no screenshots tray i have no tray files first scenario what if i can't find my electronic arts folder in my documents folder well first of all did you install your um, sims 4 game on your computer because if you didn't install the sims 4 at all you won't find this electronic arts folder anywhere so if you did install your game you can also click on this little search button if you are using windows 10 i'm you can uh, click on this little uh, you know windows icon and search and if you're using mac i think you surely have like a search bar i think it's really on top i think i'm gonna make sure to insert a little photo but do type in your computer's search bar electronic arts okay electronic arts and here as you can see this folder shows up now this is the same as this one because i don't have multiple electronic arts folders and then you can right click on it right right click on it open file location and that folder might show up in your local disk users whatever your username might be and then documents and then you can very easily see your electronic arts folder the sims 4 you should have all of your files in here if you can't seem to find your electronic electronic arts folder you can also head to that search bar once again and type in the sims for and you have the app and you should also have the folder itself so you can either like click on it or you can right click and open file the same files should show up right over here do keep in mind that if you did install your game on an external device such as a flash drive an external ssd an external hdd whatever you use to like log in into your computer and that is not actually on your computer you should always have your electronic arts folder slash the sims 4 folder on your computer not on an external drive okay do not create this electronic arts folder yourself on that external drive because it won't work the only path recognized by the game is this one okay if you did uninstall your game i have noticed multiple times that even if i did uninstall the sims 4 from my pc that electronic arts folder stayed the same and stayed in a very same place you can choose to delete it yourself after uninstalling the sims 4 but for me it didn't happen this way it just stayed it remained in the same place after uninstalling it another thing we could try i'm currently in offline mode and it won't let me do anything so i should really update this program a little bit if you can't seem to find one of your folders you can search them by their names into that taskbar search for your mods your mods folder should show up search for your your tray which is the folder that contains your lots your houses as well as your households now it doesn't contain the save of that household like the progress that you've made with that household but it only saves you know those sims that you've created in cast if that makes any sense so you should have all of your cc houses all of your builds all of your sims your families over here and if you've you know lost your saves folder you can type in saves and there you should find your saves folder please do try to recall whether or not you you know delete that folder yourself i was also kind of shocked by a thing that i did recently so i was editing some photos and i accidentally removed some of my files and then i tried to like get them back by pressing you know Control z Control z if you don't know the Control z shortcut is the shortcut for undoing certain things so i just literally let's just say i was deleting the saves folder let's just say because it's currently empty i can play with it as much as i want to i was deleting this and then i was pressing Control z to like put it back now it does come back but whenever i deleted some things and then press Control z it would just really remove some things i don't know i don't know be careful about what you're pressing on your keyboard because it is really crucial and if you've spent a lot of time you know creating certain things and then accidentally press some unwanted keys on your keyboard i know i know i 
I've been there. Been there, done that. Remade a lot of houses, remade a lot of sims. You can also take a look into your recycle bin and see if there's anything that you've maybe accidentally deleted. You can also take a look into your downloads folder, see if there's any CC or mods that you can get back and put them back and extract them to your mods folder if you can seem to like find that folder. Maybe you've accidentally moved it to another location on your computer. Again, that folder should show up if you type in its specific name. It should show up no matter where it is located on your computer. If you did also install the update, maybe something weird happened on your computer, please try to search for your specific folder. Do check each and every of your external drives and see if you by any chance, you know, backed up your files, your mods, your saves or your entire electronic arts folder slash the sims 4 folder that is basically the very same thing because each and every electronic arts folder does contain the sims 4 folder and if you also own other versions of the sims such as the sims 3 the sims 2 those ones will show up inside that electronic arts folder we're getting techy over here there are a couple of things that we can do to combat losing your files my face is currently like bluish can you tell from that the sims 4 you know magic do we have mcc is the question of the day okay we have mcc yes 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 yes, yes. Let's just say we are planning on creating a sim. Okay, no thanks. We want to do it manually. If something happens, the best thing is to already give them their names. Choose your preferred pronoun. Get your traits. Once you've done that, you can begin the process of creating that sim. You can dress it up. You can apply makeup, whatever you desire. But make sure that every once and then you click on this little button over here, which says save household. Okay, save household to my library. So this way you're kind of assuring yourself of the fact that you are not going to lose your sim in the process of making it. So do make sure to press that button every now and then once you kind of feel like you've made some progress on that sim. Oh my gosh, can you see how the UI how messed is my ui oh my gosh this happens whenever you do have an updated version of the sims 4 and then your mods aren't the latest versions so basically these are incompatible with my current version those are broken those are outdated and so i need to take them out asap but we're just gonna stick a little bit with this broken thingy because i want to show you something so if you tend to lose saves if your game crashes get yourself a computer place it onto your lot i do be needing a table as well my bad it doesn't have to be an expensive one. Oh no mcc is not working i do have my mods on and mcc is not showing up this is problematic again you guys i showed you how to do it the right way so click on the type column until your the sims 4 script files show at top i'm gonna delete both ui cheats and mcc so these are all mods some mods do also have the package package extension but you can tell by their names that they are mods you know you know that UI cheats is a mod most of them do have the the sims 4 script file extension click on the first one and then click on the last script mod that shows up while also holding down the shift key so I can select all of them or you can obviously select them with your mouse and then delete press delete obviously if you do have your game open you need to close it first mm. also you can keep your MCC settings but I will adjust just delete them just to make sure i am mainly interested in mcc okay we have our mcc these are the files that we need to cut go to documents electronic cards the sims 4 mods control v to paste your files or you can right click and then select paste and now we are gonna open up our game once again mm, maybe this is a good reminder for you on how to deal with problematic ui although i do have another video that talks about that so if you're dealing with um, broken ui castings that is the one for you i do have my mods on let's go online and update our game that might be the reason why it doesn't work okay next thank you next i'm so i'm so grateful for my I don't know, you fill in the gap. My game is currently updated. Let's give it a try. 
with the latest versions of our mods. Our mods have been disabled, so we need to re-enable them, but not before deleting the broken ones, okay? Do keep in mind that. Restart the game. Okay, and now our beloved mod shows up. If you haven't updated your game, and if you're using the latest versions for your mods, that means that you have an older version of your game, and that mod is a newer version, and those two are incompatible. I truly hope you can understand. So your game and your mods should be compatible. You should have the latest versions for each one of them basically you can prevent losing everything in a sims 4 by clicking on your computer go to mc command center go to mc settings and then there is such a life-changing feature that is really really worth trying especially if your game crashes especially if your power goes off you can click on auto save and then use auto save so it's by default setting to disabled but you can enable it and then you can save the interval amount as well as the interval type. You can save the interval type, which means that your game will be automatically saved each sim day, each sim hour, or real world hour. But I think it's better to like go for sim hour if your crashes are very, very often, or sim day if you don't experience such crashes in your game. A confirmation dialogue will also show up so that is great okay it did show up so it is time for an auto save to occur do you want to save now and then press ok and now you're sure that that specific you know save is in your saves folder now this is so life-changing and i truly encourage you to like give it a shot see how it goes when it comes to losing tray files if you don't know what tray files are those are basically files associated with houses or sims when you're done with your sim and cat you can even save it to a library and have it in there just in case but if you do also tend to lose lots houses let's just say this is a house right it isn't but you can again do the very same thing once you're done you know putting down a house or building a house in build mode you can go to save to my library and then save your beloved house save lot to my library right over here onto your gallery go to my library and that specific house should show up if this isn't like a game issue i think you should really back up your files your folders every now and then and by backing up your folder i mean you should really like copy and paste your whole electronic arts folder onto an external drive onto another laptop just put it on something external not on your actual computer we want to have our folder you know placed into a safe place okay and that that is not related to your actual computer that you're playing on right now. So if you do this, that doesn't guarantee you that all of your saves that you'll be doing from now on will be included there as well. You made that back up today, right now, and from now on, everything that you do in your game won't be saved on that external drive unless you do go in and copy and paste your whole electronic cards folder when you're done playing, if that makes any sense. I truly hope it makes sense. I do also have another video that talks about recovering your save files if you've accidentally deleted them. Bye.